videos is designed to talk about uh, a lot of questions I get asked in chat, which is like, A, how I would warp in units so fast by just like dragging like this, and um, how I'm able to cast spells really fast. So normally when one is going to start off playing StarCraft, you would go into hotkeys, and under unit management, there is choose ability or AI target. This is normally bound to just left mouse button. And what that means is when you cast a spell, or when you click on the button, you would press normally left click to cast it. Well, you can also bind it, bind it to a button or to a, um, a button on your keyboard so that you can do the same thing. So I press I and then I again, and that did the exact same thing, right? You can do the same thing with uh, storms. So you just go ahead and press I and I, and it goes right on top, right? This also enables you to warp in units really fast. By just holding down P, in, or in my case, I can warp in a bunch of zealots. So when normally one wants to do this, you can just set up, you want to keep left mouse click as well, but you can set up a second one. Well, that doesn't always work for everyone's case. Like if you wanted to warp in um, zealots, or sorry, stalkers, you would normally, I think it's S for the normal hockey, you could press S and then click, S click, S click. But if you wanted to set the stalker to be able to do that, you could also bind left click, I'll show you back here, global unit management. You could also do on the second one, left mouse click and S or P, and that would enable you to cast or um, warp in stalkers very easily. But that, for the average person, isn't going to cover all of the different units you would warp in from a gateway or all the different spells you would want. You, that's where opening up your text file for your hotkey comes in. So right here, I don't know if you can see on the bottom left here, I have choose target. And I have a bunch of things bound to it. I use the core so um, I know exactly which keys I need in order to um, cast abilities, warp in units, create units, all those different things. I have every single one of the buttons that I would normally use to um, warp in a unit all set up to this. So I can warp in any unit very easily. So if you want to add another key, if you want to add a letter, you just do a capital letter. Capital P, capital K, capital Z, capital T, anything. But there are special um, you, uh, keys on your keyboard that instead of just doing an open bracket, you actually have to type open bracket, and you have to type in close bracket, and comma, and equals, period. Bracket. All these things require special ways of writing them. Again, if it's a letter, you just add the letter. You're going to want to do this while you're not playing StarCraft. That's why I'm not actually changing anything here, because it can mess up your hotkey setup if you're playing StarCraft while trying to do this. So always make sure that you've closed out of StarCraft. But it's very easy to add as many as you want to this. This can be your entire keyboard. So if you select an ability, you can use any key on your entire keyboard to do this. Now again, this is only going you can only set multiple keys in the text file. If you try to do it in the normal um, Hotkey manager, you're only going to be able to select two. Um, so again, this allows like, really cool things to happen. Again, we can, um, wait, this is almost done. I can text like this and I can warp in a bunch of stalkers. Real easy, stuff like that. Uh, again, I can cast spells real fast. I can cast storms real fast. Um, if you are Zerg and you want to cast bio launchers really fast, you can do the exact same thing by making the hotkey that you would normally have to select cast bio launcher you can do the same thing um, some things that you might have heard of it called in the past is like rapid fire or all these different things one of the other things that you can do is to make it so you um, can go rapid fire even faster and have less of a delay is go into your keyboard settings for your computer and there is a setting to change the um, repeat delay and the repeat speed. I have those the repeat delay set to the lowest possible and the repeat speed set to the highest possible. So that way I don't have to wait as long for me to start doing that. And it'll actually go even faster. So anyways, I just wanted to make sure I made this video. I get asked in chat a lot these questions about how I warp in units so fast, and um, hopefully this helps. If anybody has any questions, comments, or anything like that, make sure to put it in the comment sections below. I'm Hunter AFI. Thanks so much for watching.